bravery, courage. Those are two words that define Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If you were to ever meet the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if you lived in his time, peace and blessings be upon him, if you got to experience his presence, one of the things that everybody would say to you wasn't just that he was truthful and honest, that he was a person of calm and and a person of, of, uh, of deliberation and determination. But one of the firmest characteristics of the Prophet ﷺ was that he was a man of bravery and courage. And we define bravery and courage as being an attribute of patience and sabr. It's an attribute of being able to go further than the next man, further than the next woman, in where they would give up, you keep going because your mind is able to govern your body and your spirit and you're able to leverage greater power than what other people are able to do. I want to describe to you the Prophet ﷺ. And bravery, it's not just something that is displayed in the battlefield, but I'll give you examples from the battle of the Prophet ﷺ. Ali ibn Abi Talib, the cousin of the Prophet ﷺ, the husband of the daughter of Rasulullah ﷺ, and Zahra, and his Sahabati Ajma'een, he was an exceptional commander, an exceptionally brave young man, an exceptional leader of the faithful, and one of the Khulafa al Rashidin. Ali anhu wasn't a man who was, uh, you know, a joker. He wasn't a person that you could take liberty with. So Ali radiallahu anhu, you know, he's described in his own right that during the battle of Khaybar, that his might was so powerful that he ripped the gate off one of the fortresses. So I want you to think about that. Ali is a person of substance, power, and authority. He... Ali, not me. Ali describes the Prophet ﷺ by saying, إِذَا حَمِيَ الْوَطِيسِ When the battle was raging, and you know, the arrows are flying, and the swords are clashing, and bodies are dropping, when the battle was in full pitch, when people began to fear during the battle at its peak of its intensity, اِخْتَبَأْنَا وَرَاءِ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ اِخْتَبَأْنَا خَلْفَ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ We stood behind and hid behind the back of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I want you to picture that. There's a guy who's a knight, Ali radiallahu anhu. I want you to think of Umar radiallahu anhu. They say to us that when the battle was raging and we got scared, and we wanted to find comfort, we stood behind the rank of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. You could see this in the battle of Hunayn, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes that moment, وَيَوْمَ حُنَيْنٍ إِذَا عَجَبَتْكُمْ كَثْرَتُكُمْ مِنْ سُورَةِ التَّوْبَةِ On the battle of Hunayn, when your numbers you thought would overwhelm your enemy, وَلَمْ تُغْنِ عَنْكُمْ شَيْئًا But it didn't help you in any way, you were distracted and you were uh, dispersed. And the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu they were ang- ambushed in a valley by the tribe of Hawazan and they were tr- ambushed in a valley from above the, the hilltops and, and, and missiles of, of rocks and arrows and spears were raining down upon them. Most of the Sahaba ran away and only a handful stood around him. The Prophet Sallallahu on that day, instead of retreating and running for cover, he drew his sword Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam stood on his mount, stood on his horse, and he said, Ana Nabiyu la Kadib, Anabni Abdul Muttalib, Man Aradani Faha Anadak, I am Muhammad, I am the Prophet, it is not a lie. I am the son of Abdul Muttalib, Man Aradani, the one who wishes to face me in pitch and battle, here I am, Ha Anadak. I'm not I'm not retreating, I'm not a coward. When the Sahaba saw the Prophet standing on his mount, they all ran back and the tide of the battle changed. It is also recorded that one day during uh, the times of Al-Madin and munawwara in the middle of the night, they heard this tremendous rumbling, which sounds like war horses coming out of the desert. You would hear them coming from like a, a few kilometers, a few miles away. So in the middle of the night, they heard this massive rumbling out in the desert and the people got scared as everybody got up. They're putting on their armor, they're getting their horse, mounting it, you know, getting their saddles on, putting their sword in place. By the time they all got up and they began to go out towards the desert, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam was riding back. And they saw that the Prophet ﷺ was on his horse without a saddle, without armor, and his sword was hanging around his neck. He didn't even buckle into place. 
And he says, La tura'u, don't be scared. It was just the sound of the desert. It was just a storm that's coming upon us. Don't be fearful. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Bravery is the hallmark of a believer. But I want you to know that there's a difference between being brave and being foolish. There's a difference between being courageous and being a person who puts themselves in harmful way. The Prophet ﷺ was a calculating person. He was a person who was guided by revelation, guided by advice of other people. He was a person of substance and bravery, and this did not deter him from supporting others in their time of need, but it did not ever make him reckless. Peace and blessings be upon him wasallam. It's important for us to acquaint ourselves with the bravery of our Nabi Muhammad wasallam, with the understanding that bravery means to to rely upon Allah and to take the correct action in times when other people may have made a mistake and chosen another course of action. And therefore it comes through training and deliberation. Bravery is an instinct that can be heightened and increased with training. And therefore it's always encouraged for us as Muslims to be able to learn how to defend ourselves, to learn how to swim, to learn how to drive a car, to learn how to drive manual shift in our car. All of those are things that I kind of encourage you to do because they take some of the mystery out of life. Every one of us should learn to master some of the things that we're not familiar with, not because we're going to need to use them every day, but because knowledge is also power and it increases our ability to deal with adversity and to demonstrate courage when other people fail at it. وزد وبارك على سيدنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم يا برضه يحيى إبراهيم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته